So one of the things that we were looking at inside of that loop inside of that high low game is something known as a conditional value and the conditional value works pretty much that same way is that we talked about how we have to constantly change the loop so we have to think well what is my what do I really want to change I don't want number to change in this case I want number to stay the same because it's the guess. It's well, it's the randomly generated number. It's the thing that makes the game the game. I don't want that to change all the time because that makes the game impossible. But this guess, this guess is my conditional statement. It's how I operate. Now, what if I wanted to uh, make this game continue? Let's think about that. Let's say, for example, now they've got it correct. You are correct. Do you want to play again? I don't know. So all of a sudden we're saying, do we want the user to play again? Well, that's kind of a scary thought if you think about it. So how do we tackle that? Well, one thing I'm going to do is outside of my loop, I'm going to create another string. I'm going to call it play again, and I'm going to set it equal to uh, why? Now, we can do our compound conditional statements. Remember, a compound conditional statement means that two things have to be true for it to be true. In our case, uh, not only does guess not equal number, but play again dot equals why? Now remember, we talked about how with a string we have to use dot equals. It's because it's a little bit more complex than our numbers, uh, our, our primitive data types. So a string, we have to do dot equals for this. Well, again, do you want to play again? So now all of a sudden I, I, I can say, well, do you want to play again? I get my user's input. So play again equals, uh, let's see, input dot next, mm -hmm, next. And the user is going to type in yes or no. Now, for our sake, we're going to assume that they are smart enough and they just put in uh, a lowercase yes. Now, you're saying, why don't I, why don't I just, uh, why no? Why don't I check for no? Notice how, notice how I only check for yes. Well, do I really care if they don't say why in this case? You know, do I do I really care? Not really. Now the last thing I have to do is, as you can guess, I have to change my number because it was five. It was you know in our last game twenty nine. I don't want it to be twenty nine again. I need to change it. So again, I have to come up here, and we'll just take you. We'll put you down there. Now, all of a sudden, my, I say, you're correct. Do you want to play again? Boom. And I immediately go and try and play again. So we take this. We, boom, compile her up, run her up, 50 to low, 75 too high, uh, 62, too low, 68, too high, 65, too low, 66, too low, 67. You are correct. Do you want to play again? Lowercase y, lowercase y equals lowercase y, and all of a sudden I get to play again. 50, too high this time. 25, too high this time. 15, too high, wow. Zero, too, of course zero is too low. Uh, 10, 10! Do you want to play again? Well, guess what? No, I do not. And the game is over. Only because I'm using my sentinel values to control the loop.